Good afternoon YouTube and happy Defenders of the Fatherland Day. Alright, so good afternoon. I'm here today in the uh, Park of Arts, uh, which you, you, I believe used to be called the uh, the Park of Fallen Statues, Fallen Memorials, or something. It's a uh, it's a really big park, just full of really weird statues. There, you can see uh, Stalin right there, and uh, some of them are old Soviet leaders. Um, Musicians, artists, things like that, but there's also some other strange people who I don't know. And I'm about to just have a quick walk past this uh, huge USSR logo thing. There's a, I see a, a Lenin here and uh, Karl Marx right here. And as I walk down past here, there's snow-covered Brezhnev with his famous uh, bushy eyebrows and over here another Brezhnev and here my favourite bit of the park this huge Soviet logo which I think is pretty cool and I'm going to walk around here and uh, I'll point out some statues if I find them noteworthy you can see there's a ton of Lenins Anyway, so I'm here today to talk about the 23rd of February, which in Russia is Defender of the Fatherland Day or uh, Men's Day. It's often called Women's Day is coming up next month. And this sort of acts as the counterbalance to that for, for men. And Men's Day is an interesting concept because it has had a ton of different names in the past. It used to be, in the Soviet times, it used to be the Red Army Day. So it was a celebration for uh, people serving in the army. Particularly celebrations. So this was in the start of the revolution, so in 1917, just after that. And then it was made uh, an official holiday shortly after 1917. So it was Red Army Day and then it became an Armed Forces Day to celebrate also the Navy. And over time it's become, it's had different iterations, different names, uh, all military related. And its current official name right now is the Defender of the Fatherlands Day. Defenders of the Fatherland, sorry. Which is uh, basically a celebration of everyone who's been in the army. And as you may not know, in in Russia, it's uh, compulsory for all men, uh, unless they have some sort of uh, education, university education, they have to be at a certain illnesses or they've uh, paid a bribe to the right people to serve in the army. So therefore, Defenders of the Father Day, Fatherland Day came a quasi men's day and in fact, many people just call it men's day. Here you see. We even have statues of non-Russian people. Over there we see the very famous uh, Gogol. See if I can zoom in here somehow. No, I don't know if you can even see it. Yeah, but, yeah there. Gogol, the very famous Russian writer. Let's walk around here. Oh, here we have Pushkin. Another famous Russian writer. So yeah, so it comes, it's become the uh, de facto men's day, Dien uh, uh, So what happens on men's day? Well, you might be very surprised to find out that men's day is actually a day off work, just like women's day next month. So being a day off work, it means that it's a three day weekend. As this time it falls on Friday, so it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. So everyone's happy having a three day weekend. 
And there are lots of traditions really which are associated with Men's Day. Most of them are to do with the office, the workplace. So yesterday was Thursday, which is the, the day before Men's Day, so people were in work. And what happens in offices all around Russia is women pool money together, they'll have a couple of hundred rubles each, and they'll come together and they'll buy food and alcohol and they'll buy things for the men. And then they have a celebration, maybe an extra, extra long lunch, or people will just drink and eat throughout the day. That's a celebration at work for Men's Day. That's the biggest celebration part of Men's Day. And I've heard from some of my female friends that the reason that women put so much effort into the Men's Day celebrations at work is because they're expecting next month uh, to have some nice presents on Women's Day. So they want to set a, a high bar, high standard, just the men feel like they have to, they have to eclipse. And what else would I like to say? Um, this day was only, well, only recently became a, a holiday, an official holiday, as in day off work holiday. It's been, like I said, it's been celebrated since the 1910s, but having a day off, that was essentially a thing from Vladimir Putin. He decided to make the day a day off, 23rd of February. So I'm sure that gained him a lot, lot of popularity. Here we go, walking past a lot of statues, but you can't really see what they are because of all the intense snow. All the ones that are a little bit more raised up over here you can see quite well, but the ones that are lower are really impossible to see. I'll have a walk past here and see if I recognise any famous faces. So yeah, that's, that's Men's Day, that's the day. So everyone's having a day off work, everyone's relaxing. Some people have decided to take time off and uh, go on a little holiday, which I had a look at and it's actually really, really expensive. All right, so here we see uh, Einstein, Einstein, as they call him here. Uh, and we see a ton of other different people, maybe you recognize some. This one just known as female portrait. Funza, Mikhail, I know there's a street near here. And we see here there's a ton of different statues. Portrait of old man And we see they all have the dates on as well. So this one here we see is 1947 As we walk along a working chap from 1955 so it's a very Soviet one of course. All right, so let's keep walking. Oh, no, no at the end Peter the Great How can I not point this one out Peter the Great? All right, so today I'm off work, uh, nothing to do, just to relax. And it's actually really, really cold here right now. Let me have a look on my phone. It's insanely cold. It is minus nine. And if you actually look on the predictions for the next few, it's going to be minus 12, minus 16, minus 17, overnight, minus 25, even more. So yeah, great weather. I've actually been to this park once in summer and it looked completely different honestly it was very very green as you can see all of these trees which are now completely dead anyway so that's basically all I have to say about man's day uh, and yeah thanks for watching actually before I go since we're in this park I want to point out this massive monstrosity we see over here this is a huge statue of Peter the Great. It's an eyesore if I've ever seen one. Look at that thing. It's horrible. Yeah.